Nvidia's market cap approaches $1 trillion and Nvidia CEO gave a graduation speech at Nanyang Technology University in Singapore, which provides a lot of hindsight in what AI is doing. Yosho Benju emphasizes why we need urgent government regulation in order to monitor AI technology development. With imaginary AI generation, people are making up what-if scenarios that are unbelievably realistic. And new data suggests only 14% of people in America have tried chat GPT. That shows there is a lot more development to come. And Google's project Starline is kicking out video conferencing and replacing them with AI. Welcome back to another week of AI news. Let's get started. Because every industry is dramatically being modified because of introduction of artificial intelligence, the platform that supports all of this development, which is Nvidia, is taking a lot of profits. Nvidia's market share is now approaching $1 trillion and putting them in top five companies of the world. Recently, Nvidia CEO Mr. Jenshen Yang gave a graduation speech at NTU. It's a university in Singapore of which the man himself graduated from, creating tremendous amounts of jobs and value for the market. Moving on to the second news of the week, Yoshio Benjo, who is widely considered as godfather of deep learning, along with Jeffrey Hinton, of course, expresses deep concerns that why we need a government regulation body in order to monitor AI development. He is saying that we are approaching human level intelligence in almost every area, and that is concerning. There are much greater dangers than we even thought about, at uh, least that I thought about a few years ago. I know AI development is approaching that scary part, but Moving on to a little bit of lighthearted news. Recently on Mid Journey Reddit, this post was going viral where people are making up scenarios that what if two celebrities had kids together? So what if Taylor Swift and Harry Styles had kids and they look like that? And the serious part of this image is that when you see those kids, they actually kind of look like real kids. But more importantly, those kids have the features of their parents. Hypothetically, as you can see here, this young lady is looking exactly like young Mila Kunis. Then, what if Rachel McAdams and Ryan Gosling had kids? And look at this. This young man is looking so much closer to Ryan Gosling, or at least so much closer to this man in the picture. So not only the algorithm is figuring out how the celebrities look, but how their kids will look in different ages. This is Sandra Bullock and of course, John Wick and their kids, Emma Watson and Andrew Garfield. Then Johnny Depp and this other young lady over here and their kids. This is Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston. And again, the guy who played Batman and the lady who was in vampire movies and their kids. And Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez. Look at that. I just want to zoom in and show you this. This person looks so much like daughter of this person. And the model is able to extrapolate how they would look in different ages. Also, there was this another thread that was going really well, where celebrities of the past took selfies of themselves in that area. So this is Marilyn Monroe. This is Isaac Newton and their selfie. Salvador Dali, he's a really famous painter. The Salvador Dali is actually inside his painting shop painting. But if you go to Marilyn Monroe, you can see it's a red carpet and people are wearing suits. Nikola Tesla and obviously a laboratory in the background. Charlene Chaplin, the King Leonidas. If you've seen the movie 300, it is a really good movie. So as you can see, image generation is getting scary good and I love it. I've already made a video how Photoshop is using AI to implement this image generation capabilities into their existing products. You should check it out. Now moving on to a little bit of number news. They did a study in which they figured out that only 58% of Americans have heard of ChatGPT, out of which only 14% have used it. This is the infographic that you can actually take a look if you want to get more details on it. But the moral of the story high level is that a lot of people have never tried ChatGPT. So we are in the early stages of AI development. You can assume it's like 2007 and people just started to adopt iPhones. And it's gonna be a paradigm shift in upcoming years. The reason for me to encourage you is that it's not too late to get involved in AI. If you wait a year or two, I think it's gonna be too late because these technologies take exponential growth and it's gonna be way fast for you when you're actually trying to get involved. I'm gonna make a video on how you can get involved in different ways. And then finally, Google's new project, Starline, changes the way we do video conferencing. They are approaching it in a different angle by introducing AI. My favorite YouTuber, MKBHD, uploaded a really good video explaining this. So I highly encourage you guys to watch it. But just to give you like a small summary of it, instead of having a camera and a normal interaction over the screen, 
in project starline when you are talking to someone on that screen you feel like they are actually here you can move your head and you can actually change your perspective of the person for example if you are talking to somebody on the screen and if you move your head they look the same but if you're talking to somebody in person and you move your head you can see a little bit of their side or their ears you can do the same thing with project starline although it's not commercially available and the product itself is quite huge it takes about like a room or so so it's it's not the best but i think we are getting there so that's it for today guys if you like the video consider subscribing and see you in the next video